Oh, hello there. Hi. Welcome to 25 Days of Xmas, as the YouTube community calls it, Vlogmas. Come back every day where we will be featuring Christmas related videos. And on today's movie review, we are going to talk about the very classic Christmas movie everyone voted for over the sequel. Not sure why, but we are doing Home Alone. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Where are you going? We're gonna miss the plane! When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation... Did we miss the plane? No, you just made it. Yeah! They forgot one small thing. King of the Midwest. If you have to get to Chicago. Hey guys. Yesterday he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. Hello, Mr. Hindle. Or as they called you around the hospital. Zap. I want you to make a choice. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. Ah! Ah! Game over. All right, for every movie review, at least for 25 days of Xmas or Vlogmas, we're going to try to keep them very bite-sized, very short. So five minutes on the clock, please. And bam, let's get to it. Home Alone, 1990 classic movie starring, uh, you know, the one and only uh, Macaulay McCulton. I can't say that name. Macaulay Colton. I think I got it right. I think so. Anyway, he stars as young Kevin, pretty much an He's an eight-year-old who hates his family. He wishes for them to go away. And thus, some criminals are in his rich neighborhood to rob. And there are some antics that goes on in this movie. Now, it's obviously written by John Hughes, who's, you know, known for so many properties. I'm not even gonna get involved in that. And it's directed by Chris Columbus. Some people should know who he is. Uh, this movie is relating to Christmas. I didn't really feel the Christmas spirit in this movie as opposed to the sequel. I think it's a little more injected into the Christmas spirit with the sequel as opposed to the first one. And what I did notice, <clears throat> you're gonna excuse me. And what I did notice with the second movie is that the second movie repeats everything I think the first one does. They've even stated that it's essentially like a, basically a remake of the first one. It does everything on a bigger scale, so that's why I think I like the second one more than this one. I mean, there's nothing like seeing New York in the 90s Christmas time. Like, that's just quintessential, like, you know, Christmas joy right there. Unless you're somewhere like, I don't know, Idaho, where it snows and maybe you have... Christmas trees and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Idaho, maybe. And what I did notice is that this movie takes a while for the antics to come in, which is what everyone wants in this Home Alone movie. That's what everyone is loving. And that's what they're selling the movie on is Kevin versus these two robbers. It takes a little while for that to get into play. And a lot of the stuff in the start 
um, is, is very funny, but then once Kevin is on his own, I guess it's, it's really joyful if you were a kid watching this and you're imagining what it's like to be home alone. But if you're kind of a grown adult, you're kind of looking at Kevin like you're, you're basically dumb. And there's a lot of little things in this movie where it's like, he couldn't go to a neighbor. He couldn't ask for anybody to help. Uh, there are some running gags in here that are hilarious. Like everybody's knocking over the, the, I don't know, the statue out in front of the house. That part is really funny. Um, there's a lot of stuff, like I said, later on when it gets to him versus the two uh, robbers, that is basically the highlight of this movie. Now, Christmas wise, like I said, there's some music in here. There's some messages of love and joy and obviously with Kevin and his family, but it's repeated in the second one. And I think it's overall better because his family is jerks in this one to him. So I don't see <clears throat> why we should feel any grievance for Kevin to be with his family because they're pretty rude to him and he's pretty rude to them so it's kind of like two negatives so if I had to give Home Alone a score I'm gonna give it out of a 10 scale on the Christmas spirit of it all I'm gonna give it probably like a strong six Kevin screaming into the camera out of 10 did you notice that all the characters in this movie scream a lot the robbers scream kevin screams quite a lot i thought that was just like a one-time gag with him doing the aftershave he screams multiple times in this movie the mom screams it's just like everybody is screaming in this movie anyway that has been it for this home alone review what did you guys think obviously you guys voted for it so if you like the movie, let me know. Leave it down in the comment section. What is your favorite scene in the Home Alone movie? And I think this movie is a great movie to start off with the holiday season. It's not a great movie to watch, I think, once we wrap into Christmas uh, time, but I think it's a great starter, if that makes any kind of sense. That has been it for the review. Hopefully you guys come back for tomorrow. We are doing uh, Sick of Toys. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to tune in for that one. All right, guys. Adios. Good night. Happy holidays.